So um, it's now Tuesday. I forgot to start my vlog yesterday because I'm an idiot and the bank holiday confused me. Oops. Yeah, I've just got back from work. I've also, I'm hoping you can tell the difference because I've just got a new vlogging camera delivered today. I've got the Samsung NX Mini <clears throat> and it's so cute. I'll try and insert a picture now, but look, can you see? Previously, when I moved around like that, it would go out of focus. But I don't know where the microphone is for this, so I'm hoping that I'm not touching the microphone and concealing my voice. Please excuse the um, half worn off lipstick. I haven't reapplied it. No point, because I'm taking my makeup off soon. So yes, I'm very excited for the new camera. Just checking myself out in the viewfinder, um, because it's a new camera, better quality, higher megapixels. Um, it's a mirrorless, so it's got interchangeable lenses and stuff. And now I just know I'm going to be in like super HD quality, and all you're going to be able to see is my wrinkles and spots. Oh, gone out of focus, but you found me again without me having to do anything. So happy. Um, yes, hopefully it's working okay. I'm just putting my arm down because I'm lazy. Um, yes, that's all I have to really say. It's Tuesday been to work that's about it oh no no I got my um I got my tickets through for Paris today so excited I've never been to Paris so I am like incredibly excited to go it should be in this vlog because I go on Saturday morning I might do a separate one for it so include some bits on here but then do like a big vlog of Paris I don't know yet. I'm so excited my camera's come in time. It's such a beautiful camera. I'll insert a picture if my editing skills are up to scratch. I'm not sure if I've already said that. Old age problems. Um, I'll show you the box. Because it's in my handbag. <laughs> Look, that's it. I've got the white version with the silver. I've got the white version <laughs> with the silver lens. I'm having to shout over the box. Um, yes, so... It's a bit of, um, I went and bought, because the camera's quite small, it comes, and it's like a mini, it comes, it needs um, a micro SD card, so I went and bought like a 64 gig one, for like 15 quid, proper Samsung one, and it actually, the camera came with the micro SD card in it, so the kind lady sent that. It's also got a, um, do you call it a little carry case when you're out and about so it doesn't get dirty and scratched um but she forgot to send that so she's gonna send that across now what are you doing you want to be on the vlog come on then come on then can you, i'm hoping you can hear him meowing that's his little feed me treats out of the fridge meow so every time i go to the fridge it's all i hear from him for like 10 minutes it's annoying but kind of cute so what do I need to do tonight um I need to edit the vlog that's going up tomorrow because I stupidly forgot to edit it yesterday what she's not happy about something and then I need to go out to the shop to drop something off um that's about it so i think it's going to be a long night editing and because the editing suite that i have on my big mac doesn't compress them when you export it you have to export it and then compress it and then upload it to youtube so that takes about three hours and then uploading it to youtube takes like forever i need to do all that tonight but yes i'm gonna go because i've been talking crap out of the bag crap for like four minutes now but if I do anything interesting I shall let you know I'm gonna go play with my camera now and be like oh my god it's so amazing but I can't find the off button hmm <laughs> this is not gonna go well I found it I did it yay also when you turn like the flip the screen up and go to record it counts you in it goes like three two one it flashes on the screen clever bye what are you doing percival 
Get your bum off the YouTubes. What are you doing? Come back. Come back. <laughs> Say hello, everyone. <laughs> you can't eat the camera. Are you doing mummy's handbag? Hey, get out of there, troublemaker. Hello everyone, so it's been a long day as you can see by the state of my hair. It's a good look, I have no idea what that's all about. Um, yes, it's been an incredibly long day. Um, been to work, got some details through for Paris. Um, found out who else is going um, and everybody seems to be from like magazines and stuff um, and luckily this lovely guy called Aftab DM'd me he was like oh I hear you're going to Paris um, and we've been chatting so hopefully I'll have one friend when I get there because I'll be getting there a bit later than everyone else stop it my life on this vlog is just telling the cat off Percy it's a door handle mate I, I seriously give up with this cat. I've just been on Twitter on about how much he eats. Um, and some people like, he needs worming. But he's been wormed ever since I got him. I do it religiously. Um, but he's had, he's wet food. He's had dry biscuits. He's had dreamies. He's had fresh chicken. And then I caught him eating an onion crumb off the floor. He's like a proper little starver. Um, so yeah, it's been a long day. <clears throat> I went to work, I went to Weight Watchers, I was really surprised, I actually lost half a pound, um, which I wasn't expecting, I was expecting to have put about two on, because for the last week and a half I have done nothing but eat, everything in sight and everything bad. But everybody deserves a day off <clears throat> every now and then, right? And then I've come home and I've taken some blog pictures, um, and I just, stop it, get off. I'm so looking forward to going to Paris just to get a break away from Percy and his mentalness at the minute. He's, he's just, he's tiring me out. Seriously, seriously tiring me out. Yeah, I've just finished taking some blog pictures and um, I've left such a mess. Um, I will try and turn you around and show you. It. As you can ready. see, my house has been demolished by blog stuff everywhere everywhere at the minute because percy is um quite naughty i can't seem to train him at all i know you shouldn't train cats sorry i'm going out of focus this is so good it's touch screen which i didn't realize and you just tap the screen to, to focus yes but yeah he's been so naughty recently and i can see he's going to try get the thing on the camera that I have to lock him out when I'm taking vlog pictures and I feel really really bad but otherwise he just destroys everything and he broke something the other day um something for the blog a PR sample I'd photographed it and then he just knocked it over and it broke and I was like oh my god but he doesn't know what he's doing obviously and he just he's a kitten and kittens are naughty so hopefully he'll grow out of it soon hopefully when i come back from paris he'll have been trained by my auntie and uncle and he will be a good pussycat one can hope morning everyone it's um saturday morning it's about 20 past one in the morning um yes very early been up about 20 minutes Brushed my hair, brushed, uh, brushed my teeth, put some clothes on um, and I'm just going to now put some pants on because <laughs> I'm excited, just a top, um, put my trainers on, pop my camera in my bag and then we're going to the train station. Yay! Um, my train's at 20 past two and my flight's at about six o'clock so I'm going to take you with me. We're going to Paris! Yay! I'm so early. Um, I also have no makeup on. I'm going to do my makeup on the plane so that 
because I'm going to have it on all day. There's no point in doing it at like one o'clock in the morning. And plus, everyone will be drunk in the train station anyway. No one's going to care. It's funny because I'm just waking up and they're still having a party next door. Luckily, I've slept through it all though. So, right, I'm going to go put some pants on, put my trainers on, and go. Let's go. and wondered why there's only a tiny little bit of footage of Paris. You know, Hayley goes to Paris to get the hell out of my hair. Hayley goes to Paris for a weekend and vlogs tiny little bits. Well, it turns out that my glasses are a bitch. That's what it is. Um, yes, it turns out that I went and vlogged on Saturday morning. Um, the tiny little bit before I went to the train station and then I forgot to pack my camera because I'm an idiot. So I put it on the settee, it was already on the settee and I put it back down on the settee ready to put into my bag um, but then totally forgot to put it into my bag. Wow I have such sexy hair right now. I only washed it like yesterday. Craziness. So yes, I had such a good time in Paris. Um, we went on like a little tour on the Saturday morning. There won't actually be any footage of that because I forgot. I'll try maybe insert some pictures while I'm doing the talking instead of my gammy face. Um, yes, so I got into Paris, got my flight, got into Paris, um, stood forever in the immigration queue because it was ridiculous. I was waiting an hour um, before I got through immigration, border control, whatever it's called. And that was even after somebody had like pulled us out of the queue and put us further to the front. Crazy busy. Um, got there, I met Aftab and the rest of the gang. Luckily they were in the hotel just as I got there. Um, dropped my bags off and then we went on like a little tour, guided tour of... Um, like a food market and some little places of interest around the area and then what did we do then we went and had um, lunch uh, which was really nice we had like a uh, green tomato gestapo soup to start with then there was like tuna on pea puree with asparagus but i don't eat fish so i didn't eat that and then we had three desserts we came out one after like the other. They were so cute and so lovely, but three desserts is a bit OTT. Then after that, what did we do? We went and spoke to some, um, we went to Le Le Bains. Les Bains. I'm not even going to try and speak French because I can't. So we went to like this really posh club. Um, it's like a restaurant on the first floor, a nightclub with a pool on the in the basement and then hotel like really swanky posh hotel rooms um from the first floor upwards it's really really posh like 
seriously posh. Um, so we had a talk there, met with some like local nightlife people and some entrepreneurs. Then we went to the weather festival, which is not really my thing. It's I love festivals, but it's a dance music electronic festival. So it's like dance music, techno, electronica, stuff like that. Not really my kind of music, but it was so much fun. Everybody there was in like really good spirits, uh, crazy outfits. I do have some footage of that, so um, you might have seen that. Depends how well it turned out. And so we went there. I had a little bit of a rave, me and Aftab. Um, it was so much fun. Then we came back to the hotel because it was pretty late by then. Um, some guys went out nightclubbing, but I'd already been up like 23 hours by then. And I was told that there was no free booze at the nightclub. But it turns out there was. And so the next day when I found out, I was a little bit gutted. Because a load of free booze would have kept me awake. Cause I was so tired by then. Um, and what did we do today? This morning, me and a couple of the others went and had a walk near the hotel, along down near the canal. I think it's... I can't remember the area. They just call it the canal area, I think. And we picked up some croissants, some panna chocolates, and some fresh orange juice. They had this crazy little machine, and I really want one. And it just, like, like a water machine you get in offices, but an orange, like, fresh orange machine. It was so good. I want one of them investment um then we had a walk down the champs de lice i can never pronounce it my mum's been telling me for the last few days and i still can't do it um so we had a walk down there because first sunday of the month i'm not sure if it's every month or just this particular month they close it off to cars so only people and bicycles can walk down there so that was really nice um after Hub took us to the I think it's the Alexandria Bridge like Alexander Bridge and from there so it's just near the Champs de Lys and from there you can see the Eiffel Tower but because the weather's been really crap in Paris at the top of it was cut off because it was just all mist um, but it was nice to see because I've never seen it I've never been to France before well I've driv driven through France to get to Germany um, but I've never been to Paris so yes it was nice to see and then we went for lunch at Le Comptier General, I think it's called, um, which is really, really nice. Apparently, Cara Delevingne had been there like a couple of weeks ago. It was it was weird because it was like a buffet kind of place, but brunch buffet. So they had like a continental like breads and meats. But they also had rice and um, what you'd call like a curry kind of thing. I'm pretty sure it's the same curry that I absolutely adored when I went to Gambia. It's like a, a peanut butter. Sounds wrong on so many levels, but it's so, so good. I actually, when I came back from West Africa, I tried to recreate it, but I couldn't for the life of me find this particular thing that goes in it. I'm pretty sure it's called Jollof. But they had that, but it was running really low, and so I didn't have any. And plus it was like... One o'clock in the afternoon, it's a bit early for a West African curry. Maybe. But yeah, it definitely made me want to try find this thing now. Hit up the West African shops and try find this thing to make it myself. Um, and then I had to come, I had to leave everybody and come home. So I was watching, uh, they had the French Open on in the Charles de Gaulle airport. So I watched a bit of that. Got on the plane, got the train back from Manchester, and here I am, tired. I've had like nine hours sleep since Thursday morning. Yeah, I had three hours on Friday night, had about six hours last night. Knackered, I feel like I need another weekend. I really need to sort something with my hair. Such prettiness. So yeah, it's been a really, really fun weekend. Um. It's really made me want to go back because we didn't get to do like a lot of the proper touristy stuff because it was more focused on like nightlife and things like that but I definitely want to go back and do more of the touristy stuff for sure. I can't believe I left my camera. I also left, I've had like no phone battery most of the weekend, I've had to like proper concert, com 
I'm serve it and um, just use have my phone on airplane mode um, because I stupidly also forgot to pack my plug adapter I only had like English plugs with me for my phone charger there's loads of stuff I forgot oh my new shoes my gorgeous glittery a slash shoes have ripped my feet to shreds because we've done so much walking they're just my feet are destroyed like properly I have about three blisters on each heel they're not even blisters anymore they're just like gouges into my foot it's really really bad and dreading like I've just as soon as I got in I took my shoes off and my feet are just aching so much but I'm dreading having to wear like work shoes tomorrow Paris problems so this vlog's probably going to be quite short because I didn't vlog that much during the week because I wanted to save it all for Paris footage and now I have no Paris footage. But there will be a blog post on it. I took loads of pictures and we had a um, photographer come round with us on the things that we were doing and she was taking pictures, like professional pictures and stuff. So it's nice that that happened, especially because I forgot my camera and iPhone pictures are a bit pants. Everyone else can make theirs look really good and I just, I cannot manage it at all. It's about, what time is it now? Time is, um, the time is, the time is five past nine. So I'm going to go have a gin because I deserve it. Um, what am I going to do? I'm going to grab a shower because I'm all like sweaty and travelly and aeroplane -y. And then climb into bed. <sighs> I don't want to go to work tomorrow. Somebody do my job for me. Although by the time you're watching this, I'll have already been to work. So It's a bit pointless, Hayley. Oh, my back. It's just like, I'm such a mess. It's, it's. It's not even so much that I'm tired, it's just that I'm ridiculously achy. I'm just I'm too old for this. I mean, can you see, like, let me zoom in with my snazzy little lens that I've got. Oh, that's, oh. Focus. I mean, can you see those eye bags? Like, that is some serious focus, for God's sake. I will get you to focus on my eye bags. Like, can you see the ridiculous amount of like baggage I'm carrying? It's 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 a lot to cope with. <laughs> right, guys, I'm gonna go. And also, this is the end of this vlog because it is Sunday night. It's just hair. Um, so yes, I'm going to go and sort my life out or attempt to, but I hope you've had a lovely week and I hope you have a nice week coming up. You'll be seeing this on Wednesday, so happy Wednesday went well. Focus. I hope your Wednesday went well. I hope your Wednesday went well and have a lovely Thursday. Only one more day till the weekend. No, two more days till the weekend. I've said that and I'm depressing myself because it's actually Sunday. Right, I've been waffling for 12 minutes now. I should really go. Bye. Bye everybody. Like and subscribe. Bye to find the off button.